Hello everyone, I'm Piet Michiel Rappelet, Product Manager for Click Application Automation. Thanks for joining this session where I'll introduce you to Click Application Automation. Before we talk about Click Application Automation, let's look at four key drivers in today's data and analytics market. First, we see that data continues to grow and enterprises struggle to gain the right insights. So there is an increasing need for analytics. We also see that within the past 10 years, there has been an explosion in the number of SaaS applications used in enterprises. We see that SaaS apps used grew tenfold in 5 years, from 8 in 2015 to over 80 in 2020. And third, we, while productivity strides has been made in the data analytics market, much of the workflow remains manual, especially when it comes to orchestrating the environment and integrating with data systems. And the final trend is that every enterprise wants to shift from operating in a passive or reactive mode to something more dynamic, dynamic based on data insights. We want to be proactive and compel action in the moment rather than wait to the next day. So whether that's a change in direction to mitigate risk, taking evasion action to stay ahead, or to promote a position to create positive value, we need to take action at point of insight. So to summarize, delivering more proactive insights and actions are consuming more time and resources. Hence the need of solutions that help workers automate their data and analytics workflow. So let me introduce you to Click Application Automation, a new feature in the Click Active Intelligent platform that was released end of September last year. Application Automation is a no-code visual interface where you can drag and drop blocks onto a canvas and build your automation with connectivity blocks connecting you to your business applications, action blocks providing you the same power as coding, native connections to Click Cloud, dynamic triggers for your automation, and finally a center place to monitor and manage your automations and to ensure they are running smoothly and efficiently. Before we go into some deeper use cases, let me give you a short product demo and show you how uh, show you the basics of click application automation. For this introductory demo, I want to create a workflow that sends me a Slack message when my app reload has failed. So I'm logged in here in my analytics hub and to create a new automation, I select the add new button, new automation. I get redirected to a template picker page where you can find up to 30 out of the box blueprints of workflows we've created based on the most common use cases. For this demo, I will not open one of these templates, I will open um, a blank automation. So I will start from blank. I give a name, demo click worlds, and I save it, and I get directed to the automation editor. In the middle, you see the canvas where we will create our workflow. On the left side, you see a panel that's called the connectivity panel. In this connectivity panel, you see a list of 40 and counting connectors. We are connecting with the leading SaaS applications and trying to add new connections on a monthly basis. You will see Salesforce, HubSpot, Slack, Zendesk, ServiceNow and many others. And of course you also find Click Cloud Service Connector which gives you access to your key artifacts in your Click Cloud environment like apps, spaces, users and so on. On top of this left panel you also see the building blocks, eh, the action blocks, which gives you the full power of coding. Uh, you will find conditions, loops, sleeps, variables and so on. On the right side you see another panel and that is the block configuration panel. This will, gives you, this will, this will give you the power to configure every specific block. Okay. 
So let's start uh, with our first automation. Well, so what we want to achieve is that on the event that an app reload fails, I want to send a message to my Slack channel so I can take immediate action. So the first step will be to configure our start block. And you see here different run modes in the start block. And you have manual that is used to debug, to build a new automation. You can schedule a certain uh, flow that is for example every five minutes or every day you also have a triggered option that you can trigger automation from an outside system and in this case we want to listen to a very specific event in our click cloud environment when an app reload has finished and i want to listen to one specific app and let me look that up it should be it should be um, the demo app failed reload that I prepared for this demo. Okay, so now we have our first block configured and this will listen to certain events. Then the next step is to add an if condition. We want to see if that app reload has failed. And now we see the power of the automation editor. Because every block can refer to a previous block. So in this if condition, we will check the output of the first block, app reload finished. And we will check if the status is equal to OK, which is the data format used in this event. If the app reload finished is OK, we do not want to take any action. But maybe I can, for debugging reason, add an output saying that a reload of app and again referring to a previous block, reload of app with the name was successful. But the important part is if the condition is not okay. I want to send a message to my Slack. So I open the Slack connector on the left side and I drag the send message onto my canvas in the no class. So if my app reload condition is not OK, then I want to send a Slack message. And all right, now you see the configuration pane of the send message block of my Slack. I will select the channel I want to send my Slack to, and that is again click World Demo QAA, something I've prepared for this. And the text I want to say is alerts app with the name. Again, I will refer to a previous block with the name has failed to reload. Please. Take a look. I can add here many more text. I can also add formulas to this text to, for example, convert date functions or text functions. I will not do that in this demo, but here in, in this right pane, you have a lot of power to transform and configure uh, the, the data you want to send. You also see that. I am already connected to Slack, so I don't have to reconnect, but here you can easily connect to your system. And if we look at all the inputs, all the other options are optional, so I will leave it like this. And now I've, let me save it, I've finished the creation of my first automation. So I save this automation, you see my automation has saved, and very important, I am now listening to a certain event, the webhook has been created. So let me go out of uh, this edit pane and go back to my hub. Uh, you'll see in my automations that I have now a new automation, demo click world. And let me look for my, my app that I want to start reloading. Uh, if I reload this app, you see the reload has started. And if everything goes well, the reload should fail for this demo. We waited a few seconds, now we see an error occurred when reloading the app. Uh, so let me look at my Slack. I have here 
my Slack open uh, in the channel that we selected, click World Demo QA, and I see here a message, alert app demo app failed, reloads has failed to reload, please take a look, the, the message we've configured. Let's also look at our automation, when we open this automation, You see in the history that one run has finished and we if you open the run we can look at what has happened. So we got a condition in, uh, an, an event in, we looked at that condition, It was the reload was not successful and we have sent out a message to Slack. Okay, so this concludes my demo, my very basic demo. So let's get back to the slides and go over the product highlights again. So let us recap the key features of click application automation. Creating and accessing automations is only one mouse click away within the analytics hub. To ensure a fast adoption and accelerate development of your automations, our team provided 30 plus re ready to configure blueprints based on the most common use cases. These templates include analytical data pipelines, alerting, master item management, change control, app-to-app -app integration, reporting and machine learning. Quickly connect to market-leading SaaS applications such as Salesforce, Slack and Microsoft Teams, which are represented in as easy to configure blocks that remove the need to technically understand an application's low-level API. We are adding on a monthly basis new connectors and blocks, and you can connect to any application through the generic REST API blocks. And of course, there is a native connection to the Click Cloud APIs. With the action blocks, you make this no code editor as powerful as writing code. Now a business user can start automating his day to day work without the need of IT. And there are multiple ways to trigger your automation. You can run automations on demand from the run button, a 